interestingly enough, the program was originally called Nursing Leadership in Healthcare Innovations graduate program. I mean, specifically, if you're a nurse and you want your master's of nursing and nursing informatics, I think that's very specific um, to the nursing practice. Um, but I talk a little bit more about the fact that a nurse not only can operate specifically in that specialty, um, but can also transition into healthcare informatics as well, because that's kind of like, you know, where I am and, and my realm and journey. But um, so yeah, that is what the program was originally called. Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna for those of you who do not know me and just happen on this um, episode today. I'm a registered nurse doing my thing away from the bedside and pursuing the field of healthcare informatics. In this episode, I want to answer a question from someone that commented on a prior video. Her name is Mamta. And she's a dentist from overseas. And her question was, do you think health informatics is going towards saturation? This video is gonna kind of talk about the progression of healthcare informatics, um, how quickly it seems to progress, and why I feel like there's no such thing as saturation in this field. Um, you know, I can't speak for other countries, but definitely I can speak for the US. That's where I am. And even without doing research, my immediate answer is no way um, because there's just way too much to talk about, way too much advancement that's happening and way too much implications that occur because of the advancements, which then create all kinds of new roles because of the impl implications that happen when people start to implement new technologies, update things and make changes, right? You start to have more questions about um, patient safety um, or um, patient privacy, um, quality, just all sorts of stuff. So um, I guess what I'll start off with is actually the fact that I was going through my email from way back when and I smiled because I remember the term meaningful use being that first word or, or jargon that piqued my interest when I was thinking about other specialties within the nursing field and meaningful use that was in like 2015 or 2014 that I was first intrigued by it if you don't know what meaningful use is or was, it's the like an incentive program that the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services had set up um, to help like hospitals and other healthcare providers make sure that their electronic health records are up and running and are collecting appropriate data um, in like a standardized way. If facilities were meeting the guidelines set up by meaningful use, then they would qualify for reimbursements, right? So it was an incentive program. Um, and it was part of, ooh, I think the High Tech Act, um, which was enacted by the government to help, you know, um, get electronic health records up and running and just make healthcare better and more innovative all of their criteria was very simple like they were trying to get facilities to enter data quickly efficiently and um, in a way that patients could get their information for transitions of care for making sure they took information home for providing educational resources like it was basic stuff this is stuff Nowadays, you know, we're we're doing this. It's like, okay, we we're in the um hospital room, you know, and we've got like the the pull carts, I forget what it's called, but you go into the room with your cow, I think, computer on wheels and you know, you're documenting as you're there depending on your workflow. Um and when you're getting ready to discharge your patient, you know, you can go into the EHR and just like, I don't know, go to a specific module and click the specific summaries that you want which just generate everything you need including i think the doctor they probably can click resources that's 
automatic for specific diagnoses like all that stuff is just like you know that's there that's basic if you're not doing that then like what are you really doing right so meaningful use is actually not a term used anymore they changed that and so meaningful use is now called promoting interoperability so now that all our systems have all of these basic things that we're doing how can our systems talk to each other how can we promote this interoperability and make it easier for transitions of care and reduce misunderstandings between transitions of care okay when i google the future of nursing informatics it says advancements in the future of nursing informatics will center on automated patient and clinical data records improved operations at healthcare facilities simplified data collection tracking and analysis and real-time access to patient information anytime anywhere boom okay so i think of like blockchain ai you know all the trending topics right now how can health informatics be oversaturated if anything like we're just getting started and if in 2018 it was um, promoting interoperability then this article in 2019 you know is talking about real-time access to patient information anytime anywhere there's opportunity in the educational sector in the cybersecurity sector in the quality metrics right so we're not really using the term meaningful use but we still are needing to measure things by metrics and measuring the quality of information collected if we're just collecting data and, and you know we're not looking to make sure that people are um, providing care accurately then what are we collecting data for it's skewed it does not help to make the correct business decisions so no way there's so much to be done and i'm so behind and probably the people that are all the way up front doing like autumn, awesome stuff maybe they're absolutely behind too because there's just too much progression anyways i don't know if this video did anything for you i'm just like blabbering on but cool topic to talk about and yeah leave a comment <laughs> let me know your thoughts I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye.